Hello pilots! Today I want to talk about voice attack, or how to control your starfighter with your voice. Giving engines full power! And not just tell you how cool it would be, but show it in action and at the end of the video provide detailed instructions on how to set up the software, regardless of if it is for squadrons, X-Wing or whatever you want to work with. Ian Fraser confirmed month ago that it will be possible to control squadrons with your voice, which is not really a big revelation, because the software he used technically works with every game or software available. At that time I waved it off as a gimmick that I do not really need in a competitive game. Now that just changed so I gave it a try. Let's begin with why I felt the need for voice controlling my game. As seen in my last video I've been trying to beat some of the X-Wing Alliance junkyard high scores, which is quite hard. The latest one I tried is the basic ring course with an X-Wing. You have to fly through 60 rings in space and shoot turrets of them. If you miss one, it will shoot back at you and slow you down. For the perfect score, you need to disable your shields from the start, keep your lasers on maintenance so you can shoot all the targets, which is tricky enough. Then you fly a second lap, hopefully with all the turrets disabled, and to beat the internal high score set by none other than Luke Skywalker, you now have to redirect all the remaining laser energy to your engines and the remaining stored laser energy to your shield to max out your speed. Trouble is, at this point I'm already going 3 to 4 times the maximum regular speed of an A-Wing. My left hand on the throttle controls for sharp turns and now I somehow have to find F9, F10 and the shift keys blind at this speed. So it was this moment where I just yelled all power to engines and my X-Wing did just that. I could focus on the flight stick and I was able to beat Luke Skywalker's record by 5 seconds. My fly through had one small mistake, one missed turret, but this is as far as I want to push it. Here's the deal. The first one of you to beat my time of 2 minutes and 6 seconds gets a free copy of Star Wars Quadrants. Now back to the voice controls. The software basically lets you set up any voice command of your choice and link it to any keyboard or mouse command. Here is my extensive test where I tried to do as many commands as possible by voice. Open as foils. Turn speed. Link weapons. Target nearest fighter. Target incoming warhead. Target incoming warhead. Who's targeting me? Turn speed. Let's switch the target. Now I have to say I was amazed by how well it worked. As you can see it barely ever failed to recognize what I was saying. But is it efficient? Not always. First thing, it would be easier to shout shorter commands like F9 to save time, which would break the immersion a bit. Secondly, there's a small delay of about a second, which most of the time does not bother me but could fail you in a fast dogfight. Lastly, if I have to adjust a lot at the same time, like increasing recharge rates for shields, divert laser energy to shields and then set all the shield energy to the radio deflectors, I am still a lot faster just using the keyboard. But I do have to say that it works great with commands you do not need that often, but when you need them you need them quickly, like targeting an incoming warhead. But most people will be more interested in increasing their immersion anyways, and that is where it really shines. It is pretty cool to give commands to your wingmates and then actually get an answer. Attack this. This is two. Order acknowledged. Using your target for attack. Cover me. This is two. Responding to your distress call. And if you think all of this is pretty cool, here's the final cherry on top. Without the need of any additional software packages, you can not only add keyboard and mouse clicks, but also audible feedback you can set up yourself. 
Do I need to say more? R2, full throttle. Target next craft. Target next craft. Target next craft. R2, how many likes has this video? And before I show you how to set it up, here's an example of a more complex command. If you ever tried to hunt for a high score in any game, you might know the struggle. Every time I messed up a run, I would have to quit the game by pressing Q, confirming with space, wait for it to load, click the concourse, wait again, hit enter twice. Now I would have to readjust my grip and would have left the zone. So... Restart game. So let's see how to set this up. First of all, install the voice attack. There is a free version with just two drawbacks. You are limited to 20 commands, which is plenty to begin with, and you cannot set up multiple profiles for different games. If you want more, the full version is only $10. The first time you open it, it will help you set up and train to your voice. Once it is up and running, you hit the edit profile button and delete all the pre-installed commands, unless you want to keep them. Then you hit the new command button and let's say we would like to build a command to redirect our laser energy to our shields. That is a very long command so let's call it redirect energy to shields. And you just write that command down, you never have to actually say it. Then if your command is supposed to emulate a keyboard key, you hit the key press button and just press the key or key combination you need. In this case in X-Wing Alliance it would be Shift F10. And then you could set how long it is pressed or even if it is pressed continuously. If your command would need another key, you could just hit the key press button again. Under the mouse button you could define both mouse clicks and move to a specific position. The pause button would wait a moment before your key presses. For an example like my restart game script earlier where you would have to wait for a loading screen. And then if you wanted to add a sound like the R2, you would hit the other button sounds and then play a sound or play a random sound. Just select your WAV or mp3 file and that's it. Once you're done you hit OK, apply and from that moment on your game will recognize it. Of course the software has a lot more options to tweak but this should get you up and running. So here are my final thoughts. I'm amazed by how good it works, even if you have a funny accent or do pronounce stuff differently every time. If you are bothered by the software listening to you the whole time or have trouble because you are also talking over Discord, you can set it up to only work when you press a hotkey. It does not work that well if you try to chain commands too fast or if you say something before or after. Like if you want to say R2 all power to engines, your command would have to be R2 all power to engines. If you have a command all power to engines and you're just saying R2 for fun, it will not recognize it. Or the other way around, if you want to be tricky and set a command that is just target and then you say target this TIE fighter or target this star destroyer, it will not work because there's something after target. I can also see it being very helpful for VR games in general, but flight sims and particularly squadrons in VR might be the ultimate use for this tool. And that is the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see this setup in action, I will stream some X-Wing Alliance again tomorrow, Saturday the 19th, 8pm London time, at twitch.com slash Tristone. Link and Twitter as always in the description. R2 and the video.